Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the spawn point command in Minecraft for both Java Edition and Bedrock Edition, starting in Java Edition and moving to Bedrock Edition afterwards. So in Java Edition there are three things you can specify with the spawn point command, the first of which is the target of the spawn point command, this can be a name like this, or it can also be every single player at A, every single entity at E, the nearest player at P, a random player at R, or yourself at S. And you can also make it such that the small point is only added to a specific subset of players by specifying, for example, what kind of advancements they've made, how far away they are, what kind of game mode they are in, and all of these other different options you can see here. Maybe you only want specific teams to have their spawn point at a specific area. The second part of the spawn point command is the location of where you want to put the spawn point of that player. It can be at your current location, in which case you just add three tildes like this, but you can also put in coordinates in XYZ format so for example to 1000 100 1000 like this or we can set this for example exactly one block east of where we are right now and the final thing you can customize here in java edition is the angle at which you spawn in and so this is the angle you'll be looking at an angle of zero will correspond to you looking directly south 90 will be west, 180 will be north, and 270 east. And so once you're happy with your current spawn point, just press enter. And indeed, we've set our spawn point to that exact location with that exact angle. And so if we were to die like this, we will respawn exactly one block east of where we were and looking east. Now keep in mind, if you put your spawn point inside of a block like this and then try to respawn, it will say the following. You have no home bat or charged respawn anchor or it was obstructed. So always make sure that your spawn point is not inside of a block. Otherwise, the spawn point command will not work. Finally, you can also use this spawn point command without specifying any of the other parts. If you just use slash spawn point, it will set your own spawn point exactly to your own location. But if you want to customize the target, the location or the angle, you have to specify that yourself. All right, so here we are in better condition. How to use the spawn point command in better condition. Just activate sheets and afterwards, type in slash spawn point like this and then there are two parts you can add to this command here the first of which is the target so you can set this to all players all entities the closest player a random player yourself or any name of a player you want you can even customize this further by putting in at a first then a square bracket and then specifying if they for example have a specific item have a specific name or in a specific radius around where you're executing the command or maybe if they have a specific x y or z level this might be useful if you only want a certain subset of players to have their spawn point set to the same location because the next part you will specify is actually the location of where the spawn point will be and so this can be any xyz coordinates so you can put in for example 500 100 500 and place a spawn point exactly there but you can also use tilde notation so for example tilde 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 like this we'll set the spawn point of all players exactly to where i am at right now and we can even put this for example three blocks to the east of where we are right now and if we do that and go back into the chat indeed we can see that we have set our spawn point to the following specific coordinates and so if we were to die right now you'll see they will respawn exactly three blocks east of where we were just at and so if you don't specify coordinates or targets and just use slash spawn point it will set your own spawn point exactly to the coordinates where you're at when you execute the command and so the benefit here on better condition is that if you place your spawn point below ground or inside of a block like this, it'll actually place you on a block above ground near that spawn point instead of breaking completely and going back to your world spawn point. And finally, if you want to for some reason clear spawn points, you can also do that using the clear spawn point command in better condition. Just use clear spawn point and then the target of whose spawn point you want to clear. So let's say myself, enter, and there we go, we've removed our spawn point. And now if we die, we'll go back to our world spawn point which is over here in the savannah biome and so there we go that's how to use the spawn point command in java and bedrock if you enjoyed this video then please subscribe